The movie that everyone is talking about this weekend is 12 Years a Slave. It made a big buzz at TIFF and Brad Pitt is the producer on it, which always helps shine a spotlight onto it. And Liam Lacey, you're here to tell us whether this movie is a good bet or not. Yeah, this is probably the Oscar winner in, in my estimation for the year. It won the TIFF People's Choice. Essentially, it's a story about a man who was a farmer and a fiddle player in New York State who was tricked and kidnapped into slavery, taken away from his family, spent 12 years there, put at his life in peril repeatedly, eventually made his way back thanks to a letter he secreted out through a Canadian carpenter played by Brad Pitt. I originate from Canada. I guess where that is. Well, I know where Canada is. I've been there myself. It comes from his book written in, published in 1853, he had real names, real facts, it's all been verified. Uh, it's a harrowing story, and it's shot by Steve McQueen, who is a harrowing director. That script you. Extremely brutal. It's in fact a kind of a useful corrective to so many films that have avoided the subject of slavery. And say as little as possible. How do you think this film will change uh, the American understanding of slavery and how it was such a part of the genesis story of their country? I think that it's particularly important for the movies, which from D.W. Griffith's Birth of a Nation through Gone with the Wind, have often offered either a dishonest or a sanitized version of how awful slavery was and which people were treated as livestock or worse. The other milestone is sometimes considered Django Unchained, which was a somewhat cartoonish portrait of the same situation. This is very hard, very direct, as well as emotional. Uh, True Tale Edge 4 is such a uh, an empathetic actor, that you begin to realize that it's a situation that could happen to any person and you identify very strongly with him. I want to live. Mm -hmm. So it's entertaining and educational. Sounds like a good bet to me. Thanks so much, Liam. You're welcome.